break them down, break them down, break them down. I'll break them down, break them down, break them down. I'll break them down, break them down, break them down. I'll break them down. What up, world? It's your boy DJ Morpheus Live 365 Felt for you Music. You know, man, I got the pleasure of being in the studio with one of my homies, man. I'm going to let him introduce himself and let you know where he's coming from. Man, let him know who you are, man. My name is AJB. Get him! All that. <laughs> from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes. Now I'm running this shit out here in San Diego, West Coast style. That's right. Holding it down. That's what's up, man. You, uh, how long you been out here? I've been in California, man. A little over 10 years now, so. 10 years, you've been here longer, a little bit less than me, man. Yeah. If anybody don't know, man, we went to school together. That's we right. was in classes when I first started college, man. That's right. Seven years ago, me and him sat in class to talk about doing this in the future. So this is basically this coming right around circle, man. Chill, it's good to see you, man. I'm okay, happy that you came to see me, man. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to get straight into these questions, man. I don't even get down to play. So first thing I'm going to ask you, man, is tell me about your music style. My music style is uh, unorthodox. It's nothing uh -huh. like uh, you're going to see um, in the industry right now. I okay. I actually classify myself as funk now. Funk. P funk funk or just funk? Just funk. Funk. Okay. Yeah, the underlying energy of funk. Uh, okay. You know, okay. right through the core. I, I get my own branch now, I feel. Ugh, I like that. Always being creative, always doing something different. And different. That's what's up. So let me ask you, what were some of your early influences, man? Oh. Man. Earliest influences from an artist's perspective, man. That's heavy. Okay, I can do it real talk. Uh, Tupac, okay, of course was was on, uh, dry. That's why I yeah. went from uh, Midwest to the West. Okay, <laughs> uh, Dre. Okay, um, man, uh, Slim Shady. Okay, you know you gotta give those shouts out. Those bronze, uh, Biggie as well. Right, right. Twista. Uh, uh, Metallica. Ooh, I'm a very uh, okay vicious being. So right. right. Um, but yeah, that probably Timbaland. Absolutely, gotta have Timbaland in there. Okay. Um, these were major right. factors. Outcast. Uh, that's what's so, up. Yeah. So, um, I know that you're an independent artist. You like me, man. We feel about, you know, being independent is best for us. Owning our brand, <clears throat> creating our own brand and doing things right. on our own. Not having someone tell us what we can and can't do. What is it, you know, talk about being independent. Well, independence... It's a good thing, but it's also painful at the same time. Mm. You're gonna get uh, a lot of hard days, a lot of no's, and you're gonna have to hold on to uh, what it is you really wanna do. Right, right. Um, but at the same time, you have the, the opportunity to put in the work and be creative uh, if you're willing to step out and really like apply yourself. Okay. Um, music is just uh, an energy. Right. You know, anybody can tap into it. Right. At a different frequency. Right, right. And everybody don't have to sound the same. That's the right. beautiful thing about music. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's what I love. I was just listening to your music. You don't sound like nothing that's out right now. So I know when we get to that part of the view, you tell them, like, man, they're going to love what you're about to bring because you're coming from a totally different vibe. And when I listen to your music, I do hear the funk. I'm going to keep it 100. I just try and I do. I hear the funk. Yeah, you know I mean? A little bit. <laughs> so, look, let me ask you this. Would have been the high, what was the highest point of this independent <clears throat> lifestyle and the lowest point of this independent lifestyle? The highest point and lowest point of this lifestyle uh, as an independent artist. As an independent artist. Man, the highest is when you get recognized. Uh, uh -huh. You know, for all the hard work, uh, right. you know what I'm saying? But that's also, um, it's, it's many levels of the highest. Another high, which probably is the primary, is when you get in a group and and making music okay. process. Right, right. You're going one way and then all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, okay. one t one tweak and it changes the song. Right, and right. And so you kind of find out, well, I found out that it's it really, like I said, is an energy. Like, okay. So that's why I describe it more as funk because I, 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 you know, I don't address myself as a rapper. Okay. Or a you know, songwriter, artist, okay. producer. I got you. 
all uh, all shields, all masks. So the low point. What's been the lowest point of this? I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's always a bittersweet for me. I've always had an opportunity uh, to shine. Uh, but every time I've had something good happen, something has always followed. Uh, so uh, it's been a hard uh, transition sometimes. Okay. You know, you got to be able to take them low, deep valleys. Them, right, right. Them long moments with no opportunity to do music. Ooh. And still be like, it's right now, what man. I want to do. You preaching though, because I know what you, I know exactly what you're talking about. Because when you're independent and you on your grind and you're doing good things and people don't give you that acknowledgement and recognition, it's kind of hard. But you know in your heart that you got good product and that you're doing this for a positive reason. So it's hard when people don't recognize that. But it's you that got to stay on the grind and keep doing what you're doing. And you know whatever they say, I don't even care. This is who I am. Right. This is what I want, you know what I mean? For sure. I, one thing I did want to elaborate on the low ends, though, is it kind of is this a cycle. I've had some of my lowest points, but I found some of the closest friends and fans that are like, yo, like, you, you know, you're an oddity, right? Right. You know? And so it's like, oh, okay. So I've almost, you know, you everybody gets a point. They feel like they're going to get low. Right. Uh, but there's always been that recognition at that moment. So I'm always humble. When people are like, stay that way, be good. they just let my homies just email me and text me messages with my lyrics. Like, dude, do you know how hard that is? I'm like, <laughs> I wrote it. I wrote this. <laughs> All right, so this is the part we really came for. Tell me about this new project about to come out. I heard it. Y'all understand. I just heard it for the first time. All right. It's some of the hottest stuff I've heard, but I need him to tell me about it as opposed to me telling y'all about it. Man, um, Garden of Funk. <clears throat> just grew from the seed. Uh. Um, I was gonna call the project something completely different and then uh, when I really got down to the understanding of what I was, it really comes down to knowing that you're gonna have to put a lot of fucking work in. Uh -huh. uh, and it's just like harvesting, you know what I'm saying? And cultivating cannabis uh, for people in that industry, you know what I mean? Right. Um, you gotta plan it, you gotta give it the right environments, and you gotta do things on time and in sequence, and you gotta make sure you're, you're methodical about your moves in order to get bare fruit, you know? Right. So it, I really felt that presence of, you know, garden. Okay. You, know, you know, so and then funk, and it just came together. So one part of the faction of that project is garden, which is the cannabis side, and then the other side is the funk, the music. Right. And it just came together, and each song is a, plant harvested and grown and so and each one of them is just its own so you know I'm trying to be as different as possible okay. being as true to myself right. and like I got a great you know co-producer Miles D with me and yeah Miles what's really up man hit my line you know I know you got them five beats yo <laughs> So you heard it first. Uh, yeah, I yeah. know we got that five. The man's, the me and him, we get together. We have a great feeling together. So this project is 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 going to be something different. They're not going to be ready. And, uh, okay, so I sad. expect to see a, a great change. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Miles real quick. You may not know this, but in New York, this is how I know he has good beats. I was just singing a hook that I had just made up. We was up at the AES convention yeah, he in the good. kitchen, right. and. I was just, I just had this chant in my head. And five minutes later, Miles wrote a whole beat to it. I was like, yo, and the beat that he made was fire. You know how most people make a small beat or something and it'd be whack? Mm -hmm. That shit was fire. I was like, yo, can, can I have this? All, right. All day. All day, can I have this? No, it probably went to me. <laughs> it probably did. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, me and him, we got, we get, it's, it's funky. It's, yeah. Me and him really, the energies balance each other, yeah. um, and I push him and he pushes me. Right. Uh, but it's also, you know, what I'm saying, it's a lovely thing, you know, That's what's to, up. to be able That's to get the up. time to do that. So it's taking a minute. All right, so you got any shows coming up? What's next? I know. Well, actually, I let you tell because you explained to me what this whole process is. But what's next? Yeah, I mean, I know you got this project coming. I mean, shows coming with this. Yeah. What's going on? So at this point. <clears throat> I got a lot of things involved with okay. uh, the Garden of Funk. I'm gonna release Harvest One okay. uh, within the next month or two, okay. uh, gradually. And then uh, 
Harvest 2 is coming out. Right, right. So, uh, so it's Harvest 1 and Harvest 2, because you know, that's how, how, that's how, how the growth has to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so they get to see different, different uh, pieces of the okay. entire crop. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It's second wave. So two waves and then shows. I'm going to be uh, pushing, doing shows in Cincinnati uh -huh. and uh, here all over San Diego. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, that's what's up. Get around. <laughs> you say, I get around. say hi. <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do, bro. For sure. Any videos, anything coming with this <clears throat> project? Yeah, there are some uh, some videos. I got uh, some really good things coming. <laughs> Look, uh, he, he going to keep y'all in suspense, man. But yo, Actually, since you want to keep people in suspense, tell people how to contact you because they're gonna be hitting me up about it. Tell them how to contact you. Right, you can. Uh, it's all day, baby. It's ajbgetem.com and uh, IG ajbgetem, Facebook ajb, you know ajbgetem at gmail.com. <laughs> I own the whole shit. <laughs> right, that's how we do. <laughs> that's what's up. Alright, so I got one more question for you, man. This is the one I ask everybody that I talk to. And it's the realest question. You know, the fact that we went to school, whole nine, and I've seen people go to school, drop out, you know what I mean, or get a degree, don't use it, or want to get into this music and they do nothing with it because they get bad advice or whatever the case may be. What would your advice be to an artist that wants to come into this game and get started in this music? You gotta think of things at, at long-term perspective. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I, I use the analogy of like, uh, you know, the boat function. You have Florida and you're doing, you know, a swim to Cuba. You got this dream and you gotta get out there and get it. Right. Uh, but uh, you're gonna go from at some point, you're gonna be able to look back and you're not gonna see Florida. You're gonna go to Florida, you're not gonna be able to see Cuba. Mm -hmm. You gotta be able to like still believe that you want track on your course. Right. You're gonna get sunburned, you're gonna be thirsty, you're gonna get hungry. Uh, so, yeah, you know, <clears throat> you gotta look at it like, okay, um, what is it that I have the capability of doing? How far am I willing to go? And then you gotta like times that by a thousand. And right. if you're not willing to do that, uh, then you know you're gonna you're gonna waste a lot of time. And I think that's why some people fall out. They realize that they don't have that strength, but it really comes down to holding on to what you really want to believe in. Right. You know, you got to believe in yourself and you got to be ready for them hard days and them no's. Okay. You know what I mean? You got to be uh, multiple facets in your own fan base. You got to be the marketer. You got to be the promoter. Right. You got to get up before the rest. Right. You got to, you know, show up and, and, and show out. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and stay in the pocket of the music. Right. You got to stay doing music because there ain't no, you know, Jay-Z said it. You know what I mean? There ain't nothing to do business about it. That's like, you know, that sits pretty heavy with me. You know what I mean? You just, you gotta keep going. It's very painful sometimes, but uh, I love what I do. Okay. And, and when people really hear it, they like, it's like, oh, okay, that that right there is worth its weight. Right, right, right. Um, so, but yeah, you gotta do everything. You gotta be your own promoter, your own marketer, your own rider. Remember that. Your own fighter, your own social media promoter. <laughs> you gotta get everybody around you involved. And the thing is, you got to get a good team around you, good people that actually want to be involved with you and that are going to keep it real and 100 with you. For sure. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, <clears throat> I ain't going to lie, some people have sent me music and I ain't want to diss them or nothing. It's like, yo, who listening to this music with you when you get ready to send this to somebody? Who's there with you to be like, yo, maybe you, you might want to hold off before you send that. You might want to check some other things or you might want to look at this a different way. Before you push that out there, and then you created a bad name for yourself as being someone that doesn't have good product, right? Based on something that someone, that, if they was your friend, would have said, "Yo, chill. You think you need to polish that up a little bit before you push that." You know what I mean? Well, some people can't take criticism, and that's where it's hard. As an artist, you you, you know you have to be ready to be judged, right, all the time. This is not hard, and that's why, like my my production, I did everything. I, I ever my music is mine. We, you know, me and Miles, we co-produce, it's ours. You know what I'm saying? My, my, all my music is under my, my label, Heart of Stone. Right. Heart of Stone Production. So, like, that means true to me. Like, you have to keep a heart of stone. Like, you have to, like, hold what's really dear to you very close. Right. And, 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 and 
float out to Cuba with not seeing land anywhere. That's the hardest part, though, because you you in deep water. You sell, you, you yeah, separate. I mean, sometimes you just got to lay back and, and, and just, yeah, you know I mean, hold on until you can get enough breath, breath in you right. to start swimming again. Ride the waves. You know what I mean? Ride the waves. Ride the waves. People don't understand that, but it's real. It's yeah, very, man. it's very deep. I mean, you know, I only reason why I say it, I know a lot of motherfuckers will give you some backward shit, but right. I say it because it's, you know, it's real. <laughs> I know, man. I've been watching the like grind. This Come on, that. You know, I know. I've been watching the grind, baby. Right. I yeah. see you put in the hard work, and people don't even know that day was dangerous freedom. Yeah, that's right. Come on, man. Yeah. Let the funk hit him. Right. <laughs> so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna release that on the project. That's the new I'm coming to. That uh, I'm gonna, you know, release that as a free piece to start yeah, yeah, to, uh, yeah. promoting uh, Garden of the Funk. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Do that. I'm telling y'all, when y'all get that, when y'all gonna be. Crazy, I'm gonna be like, I ain't never heard nobody come like this. Sure. But yo, man, I want to thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming to spend some time with me. It's always a pleasure seeing you. It's been a minute, it but a it's pleasure. good to see you face to face again. Good. Yeah, I mean, we gotta do this again once everything gets popping and it starts doing numbers. We're gonna come back and talk about the numbers you're doing. For sure. You want me to bless the mic before we out, right? Yeah, you know what? Matter of fact, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have him bless the mic with one of his songs. We'll talk to you in a minute, man. I love you again. It's DJ Morpheus. You know how to reach me. Felfiumusic.com. Felfiumusic on Instagram. Felfiumusic everywhere, baby. We take it over. Talk, eat, sleep, live, and die for the funk. Lord of the underground, surprise from the trunk. The right is the pump, the left is the cash, the back is the past, the front is the dash, the purple the stash, I'm working that ass. Vegas style, while I'm ready to cash out. No doubt I go hard and all the way till I pass out, yeah. Cause I've been dreaming about three millies since the third grade. 33, three on three, impeccable wordplay. Pseudo, sumo, judo, best of me, cooler, burro, numero uno. V12 is a two-do, more serious than cereal with no milk. So your little mama the D, baby with no guilt. That's how I'm built, do what thou wilt. The champagne rhyme, the flow on chill, the world on tilt. I tap that strange and funk that bank so I can drop a hundred thousand dollars like it ain't no thing, yeah. Like it ain't no thing. Like it ain't no thing, baby. Like it ain't no thing. Like it ain't no thing, yeah. Like it ain't no thing, like it ain't no thing, like it ain't no thing, yeah. Yo, it ain't no thing, never yeah. wish another man ill will, but will deal you to sharp in like Kill Bill. If you wasn't there when I needed you, don't expect to be now. Serving me to you bitches like I was Fogarty Chow because I'm looking to be one of the best, getting my way, leaving a mess. That's the need of me to call dog, I'm just going with it. Full of the focus, my garden, harvest them all, and alter the carbon. I keep evolving just like a dolphin, that's right. Ice them up till they turn blue like Yondu. And for the rings, they change more teams than LeBron do. Whoop them, the dream dreamer. Side of the cream beamer, a dream team. Yeah, I bring rings to your arena. That's that's right, like Elon Musk, do what I must to chase his cream, the hip hop dream. Now, who want what? I tap that strange and funk that bank so I can drop a hundred thousand dollars. Like, it ain't no thing, yeah. Like, it ain't no thing. Hit him with the motherfucking funk. Like, it ain't no thing. Hit him with the motherfucking funk. Okay. 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 Hit him with the motherfucking funk. All right. Okay. Okay. Hit him with the motherfucking funk. Okay. Okay. They can't hang, can't hang with my god on the funk. Yeah, I'm down to dirty with my god on the funk. Okay, okay. They can't hang, can't hang with my god on the funk. Yeah, I'm down to dirty with my god on the funk. Okay, 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 okay. A to the J to the B. Get him. Yeah, that's right. It's the god on the funk. All day. Mouse D, that's right. Drop the motherfucking beat like. Hey, can't hang, can't hang with my god of the funk. 
Yeah, yeah down, yeah, down yeah, and dirty with my God in the funk. Uh, all day, all day with my God in the funk. Yeah, I'm down and dirty with my God in the funk. Uh,